I'm with there. That's a whole lot better. Good morning, Miss D. Good morning. How are you? Fine. How are you doing this morning? Fine. It's so good. I love having this coffee with you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to tell us. Uh, so first of all, how long have you lived in the building? 12 years. 12 years. Mm -hmm. Why did you move in? Because of the different things they did have okay. at that time. Like what? 24 hour coverage for the maintenance. Staff. And that has now changed. And that's changed. It has. But that was the reason you first moved that's in. That's one of them, yes. How do you like it living here? I still like it. Yeah. It's a nice place. It is. Just if they just put back the staffing. That's nice. That would be nice if mm -hmm. we had 24-hour staffing. Not mm -hmm. nice. It could be essential. You were here when we had the fire. I was. You want to tell us your story? I was in my apartment Saturday morning, 11.15. Look at the clock. Someone calls me screaming to the top of her voice. Do you know the building's on fire? I said, what? I open my door, leave my purse, leave my credit cards, leave my checks, everything, leave my cash, open the door up. It's completely black in the hallways. So immediately um, my skills kicked in. Look for an exit sign. I looked for the exit. There was none to the left. It was to the right. Went to the right. And... I said, I can't take my walker down, so I'll just leave this. Do you use your walker all the time? Most times, yes. Okay. I didn't use it at one time, but hey. now, yes. Okay. So I said, let me sit on the steps and just scoot down the steps, which I did. How far, now, which floor were you on? Three. Okay. How far had you scooted? Three steps. Okay. So you were just getting started. Yeah, I was. And then a Dayton police officer came. He said, you need to get out right now. We're going. We're clearing the building. I said, how are you going to do that? He said, I'm going to carry you. Really? He did. He carried me down the steps. He picked you up. He did. Do you know his name? Last name is Coleman. And he picked you up and carried you down the steps. Do you think about what would have happened if he hadn't done that? I could have died. I could have. Because scooting down those steps, if there had been a different fire. And I'm going very slowly. Yeah. It's not that you couldn't scoot down the steps. It's that you would, have, just did it it would, have, you would have done it very mm -hmm. slowly. And if something had happened, you would have gotten caught in it. I could have. Yeah. Did, did you have any other thing that happened to you that kind of disturbed you? Not really. Okay. My brain kind of went numb. Okay. It just, it's, you don't think. Yeah. You know, but you don't think. So when they got you outside, what happened? They put me in the, he said, where do you want to go? I said, just put me on the grass. He put me on the grass. And then I looked up and my cousin came over. And so your cousin had gotten there by the time you she got out. She had seen it on uh, in the TV at Walmart. Right. And she came, to, she said, come and go with us. So I went with her and her fiance to his house. So some people like myself and many other people had to sit outdoors for six, seven hours. It's 7.30. Till 7.30. Mm -hmm. But you had family who picked you up. I did. That's then a blessing. Then my daughter came. Before you, it came before you. She came after my cousin. Okay. My cousin called her. She said, do you, you know your mom has been in the fire? She said, no. She said, I'm on my way. She was in five minutes. That's I spent the night with her. That's a blessing. That's wonderful. I spent the night with her. So I really thank you for taking a few top minutes to uh, film this. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I'm going to put this up on the Internet. And it'll be seen by hundreds of people. Oh, Lord. Please, not hundreds. <laughs> Are Too you late. kidding? No. 
maybe oh even goodness. thousands. Oh my God! But you already been on TV, and so more people have seen you than Twice. this. Yes, so hundreds of thousands of people have seen and heard your story. It's an inspiring story because it could have ended differently. It could have. In fact, I thought about it. I thought I could have been overcome by smoke. Exactly. It could have killed me. And without someone there to help you. I may not have made it. You may not have made it. May not. Thank you, Miss Dees. You're welcome.